A 24-year-old woman is brought to the emergency department by her family because she has been feeling extremely unwell for the past two days. She complains of severe fatigue, nausea, and repeated vomiting. She has also noticed that she has been urinating much more frequently and is constantly thirsty, drinking large amounts of water but still feeling dehydrated. She has a known history of type 1 diabetes and uses insulin daily. However, her mother mentions that she has been recovering from a viral illness and has missed several insulin doses because of poor appetite. Over the last 24 hours, she has become progressively weaker, confused, and unable to keep food or fluids down. On arrival, her vital signs are concerning. Her heart rate is 128 beats per minute, respiratory rate is 28, and her breathing is deep and rapid. This pattern is consistent with Kussmaul respirations, a compensatory response to metabolic acidosis. Her blood pressure is mildly low, and her skin is dry with poor turgor, indicating significant dehydration. A fruity, sweet odor can be detected on her breath, a classic sign of ketone buildup. Bedside glucose testing shows a blood sugar level of 480 milligrams per deciliter. Laboratory work reveals a high anion gap metabolic acidosis, positive serum ketones, and elevated beta-hydroxybutyrate. Her potassium level is initially normal, but this does not rule out total body potassium depletion, which is common in DKA. Putting the findings together, severe hyperglycemia, ketosis, metabolic acidosis, dehydration, and missed insulin doses. The diagnosis is diabetic ketoacidosis, a life-threatening emergency. DKA occurs when the body lacks insulin and begins breaking down fat rapidly for energy. This process produces ketones, which accumulate in the blood, causing acidosis. The combination of dehydration, electrolyte imbalance, and acidosis can lead to shock, arrhythmias, cerebral edema, and death if not treated urgently. Management includes intravenous fluids, insulin infusion, and careful electrolyte correction, especially potassium. Continuous monitoring in a controlled setting is essential until the acidosis resolves and the patient is metabolically stable. Key takeaway. In patients with type 1 diabetes, viral illness, vomiting, missed insulin doses, and deep rapid breathing are major red flags for DKA. Early recognition and aggressive treatment save lives.